accused pedophile Roy Moore in anti-Semitism storm as he says Jewish billionaire George Soros will go to hell, then suggests all non-Christians will too. Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore was accused Tuesday of launching an anti-Semitic attack after he said Jewish financier George Soros was going to the place where people who don't accept God's salvation are going dash meaning hell. The alleged pedophile got into the neuro as accusations he sexually assaulted teenage girls and has lied about dating high school girls when in his 30s mounted. In comments on Christian conservative host Brian Fisher's radio show, Moore described Soros, a billionaire who bankrolls liberal causes, as having an agenda that is not American culture. Soros was the subject of a breathless story in conservative Britbar.com that accused his foundation of being in Alabama to register convicted felons to vote against Roy Moore. Soros is trying to alter the voting populace. That's true. He's pushing an agenda. And his agenda is sexual in nature, said Moore. His agenda is liberal and not what Americans need. It's not American culture. Soros comes from another world that I don't identify with. I wish I could fact him, face him directly, Moore continued as he discussed Soros. Then Moore had a message for Soros and others he said don't recognize God and morality. And I tell him the same thing. No matter how much money he's got, he's still going to the same place that people who don't recognize God and morality and accept his salvation are going. And that's not a good place, he said. Fisher worked for the American Family Association until the group distanced itself from him, Talking Points Memo reported. Moore's attack follows a Breitbart.com story that a Soros-funded army was in Alabama to register convicted felons to vote against Roy Moore. One anti-Moore conservative group, the Reagan Battalion, called his attack on Soros straight-up anti-Semitism. And Rabbi Jack Moline, president of Interfaith Alliance, told Al.com, Roy Moros George Soros and the entire Jewish community an apology for comments he made that are clearly anti-Semitic. Moore's spokesman however said that the comments were anti-George Soros and therefore no apology was needed. Moore's incendiary comments came as the White House was once again forced to respond to other accusations about his conduct, including the accusation that he sexually touched a girl when she was 14 and he was in his 30s. The latest allegation was of lying, with a woman who says he they dated when she was 17 and he was in his 30s. He has denied dating her but she produced a high school graduation card she says was from him and a signed yearbook. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said President Trump, who officially endorsed more Monday Dash would rather have a person that supports his agenda versus somebody who opposes his agenda every step of the way. Sanders also was asked to explain prior comments that if accusations against Moore were true he should step aside. We've said the allegations are concerning and if true he should step aside, but we don't have a way to validate that and that's something for the people of Alabama to decide, she said. Asked about another comment by Moore that has drawn outrage, that Muslims shouldn't be allowed to serve in Congress, Sanders said, I haven't asked him about past statements by Roy Moore. Moore wrote in 2006 that Democratic Representative Keith Ellison of Minnesota shouldn't be allowed to serve in Congress and should be prohibited from taking the oath of office because he is a Muslim. Islamic philosophy, is, directly contrary to the principles of the Constitution, Moore wrote. Sanders said Tuesday, I'm saying he supports the president's agenda. The president doesn't necessarily support everything of Moore's agenda. Asked if Trump had concluded all of Moore's accusers were lying, Sanders said, didn't say they were lying. The president's position hasn't changed. Still finds those concerning, she said. But as we've also said, the president feels that he would rather have a person that supports his agenda versus somebody who opposes his agenda every step of the way, and until the rest of that process plays out, you have a chance between two individuals. Soros is a divisive figure whose huge spending on progressive causes has made him a bogeyman in conservative causes. As well as funding progressive groups in the U.S. there is a lengthy list of organizations he bankrolls in Europe, particularly in Eastern European countries, which critics say promote diluting national sovereignty through extending the legislative power of the European Union and push progressive agendas such as same-sex marriage and access to abortion. More 
as well as defying the tide of allegations that he sexually assaulted underage girls, pestered high school girls in a mall and dated teenagers when he was well into his 30s, has made outspoken rejection of outside influence in Alabama the center of his campaign. He claimed the allegations were being brought by a they who wanted him to lose. They're liberals, they don't hold conservative values, he said. They're the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgendered who want to change our culture. They're socialists who want to change our way of life. He is still ahead in the most recent polls, although by a small margin, and Democrats appear to have a problem with their own candidate Doug Jones who has supported abortion in a pro-lie state. Jones appeared to decline to support any legal restrictions on abortion in an interview, with some inside the party seeing that as putting a limit on his ability to gain support in the state.